just think just how God has to meet you. I desire to pray. I desire to be spiritually different too. Let me teach you something. David?
there's a few more better actors that's blown up than blown up than Harold and Amy. <laughs> they were swinging the axe, John the Baptist said the axe went right to the root the root of the tree. Every tree that breaks off for a good tree was shooting a chance to fire. They're putting it in place, the place is too straight, too small. And in that sense it's okay. We want to branch out, we want to break out, we want to expand, we want to enlarge, don't we? Yeah. You want to build a new place of God? Elijah there, thank God they're not going to be invited to come for us, he wouldn't wait, but he was with them when one of the servants said, Alas, the axe head is lost before it flew off the handle. What is more terrible is it was born. Don't ever forget that the axe that you're swing is born. That the gift that you're offering is really his. And if it's out of place, off the handle, and yours is laying the door, and it has took off some place, and you can't get your hand together, you cannot get a handle on what you're doing. You have to go back to the old prophet and say, Help me. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Whether it be Elisha or Jesus himself came to earn us a prophet. He's now in heaven as a priest. He shall soon return as a king. Have you ever heard how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth? Both prophet, priest, and king. The true vine had three branches. Joseph said, It is in the butler's dream. Prophet, priest, and king. Nobody was ever all three. Those were the three Old Testament ministries prophet, priest, and king. Sometimes you had a prophet, sometimes you had a king, sometimes you even had a priest. But they could never be all three. A, a rare exception. David was a prophet and a king. Saul was a king and a prophet. Samuel was a priest and a prophet. But he wasn't king. David was never a priest. <clears throat> Saul was never a priest. They couldn't handle all of them. All they want could ever be all three. And he came as a prophet. He is now a priest. He was returned so as a king. Isn't that beautiful? Say three chairs for the true fire. Hallelujah. <laughs> I love it. All right, we are watching here. And one of you young girls want to get that water jug for me, would you mind? Tongue is kind of dehydrated. Glory to God. The axe head. Let me ask you, is the axe head missing in the church today? Is the church today swinging an axe handle? No bite. I think it's time to go find those clothes and put it back on the handle. That's why we're here. Glory to God. And here it is, Elisha. He said, Show me the place. Right there. I believe God can reveal the verse above. Amen. Hmm? Want to get ready to pray for people? Very spot on their body where the suffering emerges. The accident starts to surface, and then we put it on the hand of it, cut it out, cut out the void, the tumor, the cyst, affliction, disease, and infirmity. I'll tell you how it works. I can't tell you how it works. Nobody can really teach you how to operate the kid. Release the gift. The gift will work. Prophecy reveals itself in you. But in this ministry, see, every ministry is different. In this ministry, the place in the body, usually we are ripping it, we're magnetically drawn to the part of the body where it is, and then it begins to surface. Like the accent swam to the surface, it materialized. Then we can see the organ, or the name of the organ, or just know by one. Of six senses, either knowing, seeing, smelling, tasting, feeling, hearing, it emerges. Then we deal with it. Take the axe and remove it. Other times, uh, we just see like a mental black and white picture. It is not a 3D, three dimensional out of body experience. It's just that impression that you see. 
and you just follow the picture. The picture is worth 10,000 words. Hallelujah to God. Glory to God. Now, in the early days, after the praying for sick for four years, nobody ever could heal. I've already told you about that. Suddenly, somebody got healed. After that, they all said, you It was a breakthrough. In those first days, I did not know that you could learn by trial and error publicly. I thought you had learned without mistake if you had to open it. I almost have every breakdown to that. I hate to go to church. I'd rather somebody give me a whipping than go to church. I couldn't take the pressure. I went on a major fast to get rid of the word of knowledge. I did. I went on a major fast to get rid of the word of knowledge. And it didn't keep the end of the fast to get stronger. I said, God, this is not fair. Don't do this to me. I have, if you, all right, if you let me have confidence, I'll bear the cross. Because it was a cross. Brother Johnson continued. In those days, you could count on one hand the men that operated in Revelation. If you operated in Revelation in those days, he was a devil. He was a witch, a wizard. He was a psychic, a hypnotist. He was a uh, half the British spirit. There was always something that could be God, but always had to be the devil. So God and I would have the devil turn. Say so, anyway. Really, it was sour grape cycle. They, they weren't doing it, they didn't want you to do it. And if they found you doing it, it didn't work, but they were in trouble, that they would no longer have the right to be in the position of leadership. That's what they were scared of more than anything in the whole wide world. Hallelujah. And so I came to talk to her, and so I said, Lord, if you just give me peace and let me have confidence, I'll go back to church and I'll carry this cross because it was a cross. Hallelujah. Well, each year it gets stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. Uh, two major facts I had in my lifetime, and uh, one was to preach when I could preach, talk to folks. And I can do that fast. I, Day, and I take a meal, and I take two meals, and I take a double day. I did that for 150 days, and I knew later on that it wasn't in works. So if obedience is better than sacrifice. If you will obey God, you won't have to sacrifice anything. See, fasting talks about giving the mind of God and giving direction, knowing the will. Once you know the will, you quit your fast. Get out, wash your face, and go do it. No point of fasting beyond knowing what to do. Say hallelujah. Are you hearing this? Yeah. And uh, then the Lord gave me this preaching ministry. Well, after four years of praying for the sick and not wanting to, but it was a Pentecostal custom to do it because it was special on the heels of the voice of healing days. And every church believed in praying for the sick. Finally, when they started getting healed, I realized that perseverance counts. There's more to exercising it than the fasting and prayer part of it. Fasting and prayer is a minority. Exercising and doing a constant thing is a majority of the development of your gift. Say amen. amen. Get a little practical here now, okay? So then this other fast that I went and on to was to get rid of the word of God. It came strong. And each year thereafter, and intensified, and the baby kept going. Hallelujah. The reason it took me so long was because I had no tutor. Now, I won't the Spirit Seminar, but it's even crossing a preacher's mind in those days to come and study and examine and critique and, and receive instruction on what to do was not even the mindset of the few preachers who did it. In those days, it was like this. Tough luck, buddy, that's my secret. Figure it out for yourself. I made a great price of this, and God showed me this, God did this. You're just going to have to find out on your own. And there's no truth to that. You cannot multiply that, right? You cannot uh, expand this thing after that passing. You've got to be willing to share what you know and get what you've got and teach the thing. So, amen. And then many can go many places and it will be a roll of mushroom across the nation. How in the world could you get to every church you have to go to? You can't do it. I got 
pictures of a man being in all from the church. And I, I can't help it. There's only 52 weeks in a year. And we go to 5% of our totals. 95% is on the shelf. Because it takes a week to go to a church and hold three or four nights. Get there and get back. And every church you go to, now I'm real pretty. Next year, we want this to be an annual event. That will limit you to 52 churches. Same Anymore, I just went to the slave plane and I listen to God and I get up and go with God's help. Can't do anything else with that. Say amen. But we can learn here. Every one of you can go to your church and do it. The rest of us never have to go to your church except for a rare visit. You get your own work done. Say praise God. Everyone said, Hallelujah. Oh, God's fail on my house. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm doing good. When Bob Tucker and last year were just about to school, he asked me, in service, that's the miracle. All right, let me read to you. I have memorized 14 miracles. Elisha told the king of Israel what the king of Syria said in his mention. Was that the word of knowledge? That's the next miracle. What was the miracle? The king who paid attention to the word of knowledge saved his skin. He saved his hide, not once or twice, but many times he was delivered by listening to the word of knowledge. So when Elisha told him what he was saying, that's in the present tense. Word of knowledge. Miracle was the king and the nation and the army of the nation was delivered to the miracle. Hallelujah. All right. Now, he comes to know the king of Israel says, Who is the spy? And the Syrian army says, Nobody's a spy, it's that prophet again. He tells all your secrets because he can hear everything you're thinking. He hears long distance everything you're saying. Well, we got to be ready to give some threat. Now, if you've got an operating revelation or any of the spirit, the devil is going to be out to get rid of you because you're a threat. He'll never bother you if you don't bother him. He lives that great peace and tranquility. I worry about you. The devil never bothers anybody who's already got And if he's after you, it's a short sign he hasn't got you. So Jesus must still have you. I think I'm right that the devil will get after some of your people. Amen. At least you don't know who's camp you're in. Thank the Lord. They took past the city of Dublin, and that's not Alabama. With the Syrian army. And in the morning they woke up the archers of the word. And the Azai made it. Help! Elisha, Master! They're going to kill us. The Lord opened the young man's eye. Let him see what I see. Seeing, he was a seer. You see. He was a seer ever since the day that Elijah taught him to see. See me when I go, boy, or you'll get nothing. Yeah, right. From then on, he was a seer. Yeah. Always a seer. Slam the gate, told behind 
masturbate from the earth. No, say what the game? There's no escape here. Ain't no bagging out, ain't no running away. Ain't no loophole. It's fear, fear there. And that's how it comes when it comes to confrontations. You deal with it. You've got to win every battle. You can't do it with this, me either. you got to do it with all your soul. Oh, I can't go shut Paul came up out of the boat and he said, Cheer up, cheer up. We're fixing the ground, thanks. Hadn't seen the sun from the stars two weeks, it was five of the we were dying in a minute, and you said, Get happy, you're crazy. <laughs> What's there to be happy about? Stood by me this day, this night the angel of God, whose I am, said, Fear not, Paul, you're going to rock from Caesar, except you abide in the sheep, you cannot be saved. Isn't that right? We're learning to weave you now, we can weave you to start with, but we'll be in this place. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. Have a nice time. Well, I'm going to join hands and I'll take 
Jack Joy. Same goal happened to him. Elijah subdued the entire Syrian army without speck of sword, fire and shot, or called upon the armies of heaven to destroy the Syrian. He took a right straight to the king of Israel and said, Here's your army. He said, Oh, Kevin, 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 Paul. I don't like your head, too. And by the time I killed everybody, it's because I got the upper hand over them. I destroyed their bubble just because you got the advantage. Out of fact, no, you can't kill them, right? Isn't that funny how a prophet can tell a king what to do? In governmental national policy. No, you can't tell them. You feed them and set them free. Don't you think feeding people and set them free is better than destroying them? Don't you think so? Oh, uh, Immediately he healed their eyes, and they bowed themselves in the middle of the ocean. How did we get here? When God opened your eyes, you're going to shock us. How do you get into Jerusalem? How do you even get here? Check it out. But you're going to realize that it's not for your hurt, but for your good, as soon as we beat you and set you free. Well, I'd be 
pack stuff and bear it to God. Yeah, you buy a friend. You survive, you buy.
got it or you're pursuing it. So I said, how do I know what gift? Which one do you desire? You think God is foolish? He plants desire in your heart. You chase desire. He gives you desire. Someone missed it. Isn't that cool? God knows you're able to chase up your hate. So I hope God don't send you to hell to be a missionary to run to again. <laughs> the only God I mean, will send you if you don't want to go. He's not going to make you do nothing against your will. You can have a passion to pay the price to do it. I like that weapon that says that you can have it. If you pay the price, just tell me the price now and I'll pay it. I said, I won't pay you because you can't pay it. He kept at me and at me and at me. After a while, I said, all right. The responsibility is on you. What's that? Okay? Is that, that, is that a deal? All right. But don't matter. He said, I'm going to do it in heaven. I said, come follow this ministry for three and a half years. And you'll have this ministry. He said, I can't do that. I said, I told you you couldn't do it. But that's a divine principle. The disciples stayed with Jesus for three and a half years and they did better work than he did. I mean, you go to college to get a degree for three and a half years, but four in college because they give you the summers off. So you can. It's a principle. And if the apprentice will apprentice to whatever he's wanting to do with us, to a ditch digger, in three and a half years, he'll be a better ditch digger than the ditch digger. Now think about that. Whatever you really want and you really pursue it, you pay the price of it, you'll have it. And when you stand before God and He said, How come you didn't get it? When I could, He said, Yeah, you could. You just couldn't pay the price. A rich young fool gave up that apostleship because you wouldn't pay the price. You two are going to be touched in your back. You believe it? Come right out here. When you get here, you'll be here. Stop. They call it out, touch your toe. Up for air. Where's the pain in your back? Uh, I was to tell you, it was in your old left corner. I was to tell you that you jumped the gun on me. Now, listen, if I need your help, I'm calling on you. Amen. Amen. The revelation stops, then add to it. Don't add to it before it stops. We learned practical laws here. Practical application. Alright, the reason is because of your head. Your left hip. God's going to hear your head now. Something out of place in your head. In fact, it's affecting your leg. Your left leg is a quarter inch short. And it's grown. Here it comes. By the same token, your left eye has been a little bit weak in your left eye. This is true. There's like a little iron stain that burning that comes to You see, if they don't understand, then they'll be patient, come to shoot them. Follow me now. See, people have the wrong interpretation of what's wrong with them. But God knows every hair on your head. He's covered in You don't even know the number of hairs on your head. And by that, I just prove to you that God knows more about you than you know about yourself. He knows more about you than the doctor's diagnosis. If the doctor knew what he was talking about, the ad would come on TV and say, go get a second opinion. Ten different doctors will give you ten different diagnoses. And then they won't hear anything. Put a big long name on it, you believe it? I got plenty, 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 plenty. How do you know? Doctor told me so. You know what it is? No, but I believe it. Why do you believe it? I had a taste of myself, I know. That's why I believe it. A doctor, a, a preacher can get in the Holy Ghost and tell you to play in this way as you. You don't want to do that. And if that preacher can pray a simple prayer, and you can totally get in a lot of decision, and you'd rather. Pay a doctor big bucks. Lose half your life because you've already lost half your orders. And suffer and convalesce until you heal up on your own. When God
God would hate himself. And there's healing in your flesh, how much more healing is there in the Holy Ghost? In the Holy Ghost, you might want healing. Thank God. You have just had a little dose of insomnia. Insomnia. That's right. When your insomnia is over, yes, you will sleep tonight. And every night, you will sleep to the day of your delivery. And upon the day of your delivery, you will have no complication, no complication, no complication.
God has come upon him, give the faith hearts in the name, for our miracles be performed. Receive it today, and put this day forward to it. Jesus' name. Give the faith. Come on. Word of knowledge. Begin to operate. And let it be enhanced by the word of wisdom. How to apply what to do. And it comes to wisdom. Faith and wisdom and knowledge. These three, exercise them. Have them now. Glory to God. Then we will pray for you for the gift of faith. That's the number one gift of the gift of faith. God will give the faith. His dad and very long to shout out that God will receive it. They go to bands. Let it happen. Let it be performed. Keep it. Exercise it now. If the faith come upon it, it's only the spirits operate within it. That is, in Jesus' name. Oh, my God. That's your good question. Brother Freddie, I'm the one who's working out for years and years. That, uh, I'm here to look at myself. The best gift for each place. I'm hating, which is food that you control and push it. It's just there. It's a terrible situation. We're going to Pakistan, this Muslim country, which is no open meeting there. We're in our close. And Belgium, this traditional Catholic.
going to talk about this book today, that in striking that habit of faith and the word of wisdom. Oh God, let's get your faith more for the hand. Let the very word of wisdom come upon him two, two bones upon which all man is function. Word knowledge and word of We receive the word of knowledge in Jesus' name. And the word of our goes to the back end. That the two of the twain function. But far in the word of knowledge, thou wisdom, and the miracles operate, the same as those that have to say. Amen. Listen to the day. Lord, I'm going to go to the same greater word of knowledge. Woo! And enhance it. And undergird it right now in the season. By faith. Oh Lord Jesus, that the working of miracles which should always come for the word of knowledge, strike Brother Tim first, and then let the word of knowledge, even at the same prayer, strike him second. I shall pray. Miracles come on him, and we're a privilege offered with the name of Jesus' name. Knowledge of the word, faith in her was word. What she's got, stir prophetic.
church in tongues?
he who dealt it right to a girl and let knowledge upon me. And don't be upset by what's revealed to you. Keep the faith and stay balanced. Don't love nobody no less because of what you know. That's God taking you from now. Did you catch that? Jesus' name. You see, with the faith, just a few pumps in the front of Give the faith to God, this man, that this boy had faith in miracles come emanating from his hands. All glory to God. And the wisdom to apply it to her. Give the faith, come on, Dad, and his faith in all his former and tell the man, here's an impartation, Dad. Yours. Give the faith, come on, this man, and the word of wisdom serves to his brother now. Maybe there was a function of it.
Jesus name, and very well. 